Hey, this is Michael from Studio One Expert. I would like to show you in this video how to render effects so you can edit and process those effects to create some interesting results. What I want to show you is how to use a clap reverb in a non-traditional way. The first step is to hear the current settings of the reverb in the track. The reverb is adding some depth and snap at its current settings. The desired effect will be much different from this. We need to determine an eighth note time in milliseconds at the tempo of our track. There are many apps, programs, and websites to help you determine this. If you search for delay time calculator, you will find useful tools to calculate delay times for tempos. With these tools, you type in what BPM you want times four, and it will give you the milliseconds for eighth note, quarter note, etc. This track is 110 BPM. What I want is a 1 8 note pre-delay for my clap reverb. At 110 BPM, this is 273 milliseconds. And what I want is a very long decay. I'm going with 7.4 seconds for the decay time. So the reverb now sounds like this. Now set your markers so they include the entire area of the timeline where you want your reverb bounced from. Next, from the song menu, select Export Stems. Click None so that no channels are selected. Then highlight only the clap reverb channel. I do not want a file name prefix, so I'm going to delete the file name prefix text. Make sure you have import to track highlighted so your rendered reverb gets automatically imported. Now click OK. Mute the original clap reverb channel. Now edit the rendered reverb so that when the kick hits after the clap, the huge reverb is removed. Now even at this point, without further editing or automation, the clap reverb could become something interesting normally not possible with a reverb that was not rendered or much more difficult to achieve. Also, one of the biggest benefits of rendered effects channels is they no longer are using any processing power, freeing up your computer for other tasks. Let's hear some effects on the rendered clap reverb channel and see what happens. First, let's try the auto filter in Studio One. Let's try the UAD Moog filter. Let's try them both and see what happens. We could use a splitter and route the reverb separately to each of these effects. Add a delay only to the auto filter. The options are endless with rendering effects, chopping them up, reversing them, mangling them through non-traditional use of effects, and then render them again. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and it showed you new ways to use effects in Studio One. Now go make some great music.